So this is kind of what we got going on. Big garage. Uh, I live in a raised house. So, uh, you know, everything underneath the house is a garage, obviously. So, and it's a big one. It's a big one. Um, I think I, I want to say I got 2,800 square feet of garage here. But anyway, so it allows, it allows us to be able to put uh, two cars in the garage. And uh, I can also keep my boat in the garage. So I'm going to start the tour over here. Um, I love being able to have my boat in the garage. That's pretty freaking cool because I can work on it. And, uh, it, you know, it just it keeps me out of the elements, keeps the boat out of the elements. This is a 1999. It still looks that good. Uh, we got a tackle wall over here. Uh, that's where I keep a lot of my fishing tackle. When I want to go out, I basically just go to my own store. So, yeah. So let's walk over here. This is, uh, this is, you know, tackle locker right here. We got to, you know, this is where I keep all my, all my tackle goes in here. So everything just goes from here into the boat, depending on what I'm fishing for. This area right here is just, this is just underneath our front porch and there's a bunch of junk back there, but literally it is junk and it needs to be cleaned out. So we get into my, uh, this is one of my workshops. This is actually probably, oh, I say one of my workshops. This is kind of where most of the stuff happens. It's kind of messed up right now because as you can see, there's, I'm, I'm always got something going on. I'm always working on something. I try and clean it up every now and then, but it always gets dirty again within the next day or clustered with a bunch of stuff because I'm always fiddle fucking around with something. So anyway, so here's a back view. We got a big, you know, big garage door that allows me to back the boat in fairly, fairly easily. So anyway, uh, another thing. I spent a lot of time in the garage and I got to tell you this freaking heater. I love it. This thing, I can get my garage heated up to about 65 degrees in 15 minutes or so. And, uh, granted the smell sounds like, uh, smells like you're walking down the gangplank of, uh, you know, an airport or something like that. Cause it's, it's, it's running off kerosene, but those things are the bomb. I love it. Okay, so let's walk around here. Of course, we got our fridge. You got to have a fridge. And you got to have a big damn trash can, too. I'm talking mega. I mean, this is a 55-gallon drum, so make sure you got a big-ass trash can. I like all the cabinets and stuff like that because it doesn't look so junky. You know, everything just gets thrown in the, in the drawers and stuff like that. Now, it's not that organized, but it still keeps everything kind of out of the way. Other thing I wanted to show you that is kind of that, that I think is a must have. If you got fishing rods and you like to fish, you better keep them things hanging from the ceiling. Okay. I keep all my fishing rods, everything hanging from the ceiling. The reason I do that is because one dogs are playing around down here. I don't want them getting stuck with, uh, you know, stuck with hooks and stuff like that. But also, you know, if you got your rods vertically on the floor in your garage, Big mistake, bro. You got to keep those things up. They get too much dust and dirt and stuff down in the garage being on the floor. Get your stuff. That's my number one rule. Get stuff out from underfoot, okay? Keep it up high. You're going to be better with that. So anyway, there, there's, a, there's a quick tour. Yeah, those are freshwater rods. So anyway, we got a refrigerator back here. So this is, this, uh, oh, this leads up to, this isn't really part of, I guess this is part of the garage. Um, I'm trying to turn on a dang light here. So that leads up to the house right there. This light must be out apparently. Yeah, that light is out. So anyway, uh, basically this just kind of gives you an idea. We got an area in here that's just full of junk, but, uh, you can't see it. Well, yeah, see, basically full of junk, but it could be a bedroom or something. You could turn it into a bedroom, got a closet back there. So, um, you know, not really that much fun, but anyway, so of course, of course, Hey, you gotta have a freaking bathroom. You gotta have a bathroom and you gotta have a shower in the garage, man, because you get home man. you don't want to go up to your lady smelling nasty, man. Take a shower before you even go inside. A lot of people take their shoes off before they go inside me. Hell no, man. I take a shower before I go inside. Anyway, so we work our way around here. Now here's another work area. This is kind of, um, 
Now, this is, uh, I gotta explain this a little bit so you know what you're looking at. This is uh, another part of the garage here, and this is kind of my, this is my woodworking area, which I don't really spend a whole lot of time in. You can see I got a big uh, movie screen up there, and we got our projector and everything like that, so we can hang out down here in the couch. You know, just watch movies on the big screen. And I mean, that, that's a big screen right there. Um, I think I paid, I think I paid like 80 bucks for that whole setup right there. It's a little ghetto, but whatever. Over here, again, oh, there's the table saw right there. Uh, I took the light out here, so you probably won't be able to see, but this is just back in here. Uh, this is where we keep bikes and, and whatever. Try not to keep the garage too junky. So again, we're looking back around here. Uh, this is, uh, this is our dart arena, all kind of the, the game zone here. This is, uh, every Thursday night, uh, we, uh, we shoot darts, you know, we, you know, we bet money, we have a good freaking time, Daryl Creek Dart Club, and this is where it all goes down right here. We've shot a lot of great games here. I will say, and, and I'm proud to say that this, no one has ever died at one of our dart nights. Now, people have fallen out. And I'm not going to mention names or anything like that, but people have fallen out on the floor. But, uh, you know, other than that, our dart nights are relatively conservative. I am in the pool business. That's why you see all the freaking salt and pool chemicals. And, you know, unfortunately, that's just part of the part of the game. That's that's what I do. So I got to keep a lot of stuff on hand. Uh, we got a pool table right here. That's nice. Uh, if, if you like shooting pool, we do like uh playing a game of pool so that's basically it in a nutshell how the uh how the the uh, the garage is set up so i like having all the space it's great spending time down here it's kind of therapeutic for me so anyway with that said i'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that hope you enjoyed it hope you got some tips please feel free hopefully you'll subscribe i need subscribers i got like three Hopefully, you know, give me some comments. Let me know some things that you think I could do better. Or, or heck, I mean, if you want to know how I did something in my garage, let me know. And uh, look forward to your questions and I appreciate it. Later.